The Australian Centre on China in the World was established to be a place where we not only train new and upcoming scholars working on China, but um, to train scholars who can appreciate China and work on China in what we call an integrative or holistic way. That is to bring in the humanistic as well as the social sciences as well as policy and public policy elements of the study of contemporary China within the larger context of Australia's engagement with China. The building that we moved into, it's called the uh, Australian Centre on China and the World Building, was designed by a Beijing-based architect, an old friend of mine, Gerald Sito. And Gerald and I discussed the concept behind the CIW. Where we wanted a building that was reflected the requirements of a research institution, but also a place that was aesthetically um, significant, that had modern Chinese elements in it, but also reflected um, the ANU's position in Canberra, the light of Canberra, um, the beauty of this university campus, and aspects of um, ANU's engagement with China, which I should point out go back to the 1940s, that um, allow contemporary Australians and others, international people involved with China, to appreciate that we have a long history uh, involved in trying to understand with, engage with, and enliven ourselves through the study of China. I particularly like the building at night because I think the lighting is spectacular. It really uh, emphasize the Chinese aspects of the building and the Chinese architecture. Uh, for me, it's a really beautiful workplace. Um, it's very open. There are all the big windows, and the windows are also um, have this uh, Chinese framing. And it's very interesting for me to look out to a Australian landscape from the beautiful um, plum flower window. My friend over my left shoulder, we call him Draco. Not really a reference to Harry Potter, but Draco is the Latin word for dragon. Um, it's also the Latin translation of the Chinese word lung, or dragon, that appears in the first line of the Book of Changes, one of China's most famous classics. Uh, the building has been designed to be a place for people to get together. And to, uh, if you wander around the building, you will see that there are lots of breakout spaces, spaces that actually encourage people to get together. Uh, this has been one of the philosophy of both the centre and uh, the architects who designed the building. I found CIW and the, uh, the building in particular to be really good for, I guess, fostering engagement, uh, working with other PhD students. One of the things that I like most about the building is its use of light. It has a lot of um, skylights or clear stories or celestries as we call them in the library, in the stairwells and elsewhere and it um, tries to really capture the light and the, the colour as well as the atmosphere of Canberra in its design and structure while being, as, I've, uh, as I say so often, a contemporary Chinese inflected but really a modern Australian building.